I'm going to talk about different rollers that I use for my hair, which is natural hair, which is kind of like frizzy hair. And, you know, I don't like to use um, bobby pins because they really do catch hair that is not supposed to be in it and it pulls and, you know, it's just more hair breakage that I want to avoid. So, there are basically three kind of rollers that I use, okay? I use the sponge rollers, I use the magnetic rollers, and I use the flexi rods. I like to roll the ends to keep them smooth and curled because if not, they'll get frizzy. Also, it helps, protects the, uh, helps to protect the ends when you keep them rolled. My least favorite, in fact, a big waste of money for me, are these um, perm rods, okay? The band slips out of the little groove there, and then when your hair, your hands are all wet with conditioner or setting gel, uh, it just doesn't work. And then if you have too much hair, I mean, I just don't, I just don't like them. And good old sponge rollers that's been around for 50, 60, 70 years, I don't know, a long time. Okay, I stopped using these for a while because my hair would get caught into the sponge, in, into the sponge, you know, so that meant that it was pulling my hair out. And I never realized it before, but that's what these end papers are for. You, you know, I, I, um, you're supposed to, Put them in, fold them in half, and then roll it around the sponge rollers, okay? Let's see. Roll it around the sponge roller, okay? And now you have a smooth surface, plus you don't, you're not going to have um, the problem of your hair getting caught into the, in the sponge, okay? It's going to make a nice, smooth curl. All right, so, and I usually, again, I only curl my ends for the most part, and then I clip them. Now, another thing about sponge, and, and also using these end papers makes sponges, um, the sponge rollers last longer, all right, because you're not putting a whole lot of, again, product on the sponge, all right, so it's keeping it pretty nice and clean. Now, the other thing about sponges that don't last long is the little clips that keep the sponges keeps the roller in place so what I do is I use a little rubber band okay and I just put it around the entire end of the roller now that's going to give it a nice tight curl and sometimes when you know I'm looking for that type of curl you know this is perfect magnetic roller that has the cover, the claps cover on it. And these are nice. Your hair will dry pretty nicely with these because it has a lot of um, holes through it. So uh, usually they wear these, they use these when you're sitting under the dryer, okay? And it uh, provides a really nice, smooth, loose curl. I pretty much use a rubber band on every curler that I use. It's not really that good to sleep in these because they're uncomfortable. They're hard and they're just uncomfortable. It's just best to wear these when you're air drying or when you're sitting under the dryer. But sometimes I set my entire hair just for a different look and I use these really large jumbo. Actually, they, they come larger than this, but um, I use usually this size or larger. When I'm rolling my hair with the larger size rollers, I plan on sitting under the dryer or sitting next to the heater or something, but I'm not going to go to bed uh, in these rollers. And when I roll my hair with this, I do not use any kind of clip because when that clip is going into your hair, it's bound to, to tear um, a strand or two. Then lastly, my favorite um, roller is the Flexi Rod. Okay, the, I love these because they're so convenient. You don't need any pins or covers or anything. All you need is the Flexi Rod itself. They don't tend to break and they seem to last forever, but they have one drawback. And I've talked about this on one of my other videos, 
but the ends on some of them will catch your hair. This one doesn't seem to have that problem, but see, I don't use this that much. However, it will, even still, the openings here will, if you, you know, roll all the rest of your hair, may just, may just do that. Um, spiral curls. Um, typically, I would probably need a much longer one if I was going to do that. I never do do that because I like for my hair to curl, I mean my hair to dry and it would take forever to dry doing these. So. Um, but if you were, you had my length hair, you should start really at the very tip, at the very end of the curler and go up. Then you want to turn that over and because my hair is so coarse I gotta use a large rubber band and I just um, put it around there three times okay and then at the end here you don't really need anything when you take your curler your flexi rod out it's gonna come out a lot easier it's not gonna catch on anything so I like flexi rods without the rod. This is how you take your um, the rod out of the flexi rod. You either take your scissors or your box cutter and you're going to just go through here. You can see and split split them apart. Now you may not even have to do this with some of your rollers because I have some flexi rods and the and the tips the little buttons at the end just came out okay but these are glued to the tip so you want to separate it there you see how it's separated I don't know if you can see but anyway at this point you're just gonna take it and pull pull the um, button out separate it at the other end and just pull the rod out. I mean, I would I would buy them just like this. They don't even have to call them flexi rods. Just call them flexies. So that's what I, I use to to finish my ends, to curl my ends. I'm not one of those lucky ones that have um, really curly ends that you can just tuck under. So um, yeah, that's it. Hope it helps.